Hey YouTube, it's Kablam Bandicoot 64 here. Guess what? Someone did a rant on Cartoon Network in 2016. What is there to rant about? Like, really? The channel is in such a better state than it was back in 2009 and 2010, even though I don't like the majority of what comes on, but that, that's besides the point even though I think well, there are only three good shows on the channel. Th 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 again, that's besides the point. They're in a better state. Really, there's not much to rant about, but this guy doesn't seem to get the memo. We're either going to get a nostalgia a Nostalgitard, a Nostalgitard Teen Titans Go fan, a Nostalgitard Powerpuff Girls fan, or a Nostalgitard fan of both of them and offers no valid points. I'm willing to guess the fourth one. I don't know, but we're going to do a commentary on this guy, because I've seen this video, and it's bad. So why did I do that in the form of a question? I don't know. I'm just trying to do something new. You gonna kill me for it? You gonna call the popo? I don't know. I knocked over my CD. That sucks. Anyways, let's do the commentary. Hey YouTube, it's Skylar. Now I want to give a rant here for just a minute. Or depending on how long this video is gonna go. Now the thing is, we all know the new Kurt... We all know Cartoon Network is making a new Powerpuff Girls series. I just want to say, just all their shows, period, just suck ass. A master of grammar right here. All their shows, period, suck ass. Seriously, you're not the angry video game nerd. He doesn't look like a girl. Okay, that was mean, I apologize. But seriously, what are you trying to say here? You go from the Powerpuff Girls to all of Cartoon Network shows. And speaking of that, yep. I was right, he's a nostalgia tart who hates the new Powerpuff Girls. I knew it. Let's see his <clears throat> reasons for hating it. Okay, Cartoon Network, what the fuck is wrong with you? Cartoon Network was my childhood and so was Nickelodeon. Everybody get in line, da -na -na -na. Seriously, make a point. We get it. We watched cartoons when we were kids. What are you trying to say here? I mean, I can say Cartoon Network was my childhood. I mean... You're, think you're thinking about yourself here, man. Just because something is your childhood doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better or worse if you rant on it. I mean, seriously, times are changing. Your childhood is in the past. Cartoon Network is looking towards the future. Obviously, they're going to be a little different in this generation than they were back then. But no, instead you're just ranting about your childhood. As we don't have enough of those on the internet. I'm referring to 90s kids. In fact, I think we might be seeing 2000s kids in the vein of 90s kids sometime soon. You could argue that I'm one. But Nickelodeon, I think, is just way too broken. It, it just cannot be fixed no matter what. Ah, pessimistic douchebag. I'm going to call it right now. He's a Mr. Enter fan. Uh, I have no hope for Nickelodeon anymore. I've, it's just beyond help. However, I think Cartoon Network, eh, you know what, fuck it. I just still just gonna give this ranting away. I just wanna say fuck Cartoon Network for their new shows. A new Powerpuff Girl series? Fucking really? You already did two different Looney Tunes series, then you did Tom and Jerry series, and you did a new Teen Titans series, now you're doing the fucking Powerpuff Girls? Are you goddamn kidding me? I do have to agree that Cartoon Network does seem kinda of pressed for ideas now that they're bringing a bunch of their old shows back, but you're making it sound like them just bringing old shows back is a problem. Whereas if they brought shows back that need to be brought back, like Class of 3000, or shows that ended too early, like Class of 3000, or Time Squad, or shows that would make sense to bring back, that would actually make sense. Bringing back an old show isn't necessarily a bad idea, but bringing back Teen Titans and the Powerpuff Girls and those shows you listed are bad ideas. But you're making it seem like them just bringing back an old show in itself is a bad idea, where there are some exceptions to that rule. What the fuck? And one of their first episodes, they showed him actually twerking. You all know my thoughts on that matter, so I'm just not even going to say anything. No one does that anymore. At least not that I know of. I, I'm more old school, so I don't really give two shits about that. I know they... I mean, I know one reason why they don't show this shit anymore on TV is because apparently parents are just a bunch of pussy assholes saying, It's too violent! Well, I just want to give a message to all you prudish parents out there that want to try to keep your kids away from all this shit. You do realize that you can't keep them from violence forever. Violence is in the world. I can understand that they won't show cigarettes, drugs, and booze, and guns. That's a different story, but 
fruitful ones. They're fucking cartoons. It's not real. I think you're missing the entire goddamn point. Okay, now we're talking about how parents are keeping their children away from cartoon violence, okay? The new Powerpuff Girls show and Teen Titans Go have violent moments. They're action shows, for God's sakes. It doesn't matter if they have comedy, and it doesn't matter if they start cute little girls like that. But the point is they have action in them, dude. What are you trying to say here? You're not even talking about the actual shows anymore. Now you are just talking about how cartoons are too violent for parents? What does that have to do with Cartoon Network itself? Now I know for sure that you didn't script this or think of any ideas for two craps before you started recording. You're just saying random crap out of your ass. I thought rants like this were so three years ago, but nope, they're still out there. I don't really think it encourages violence because anyone who actually does get the idea from that in the first place are just fucking dumb assholes to begin with. They actually try to do it in real life. If you people actually do that stuff in real life because of a cartoon, get a fucking life. It's all cartoons. They can do whatever they want. They're not real. They can't feel shit. You're all fucking assholes. You're dumbasses. But everyone else, not to mention <clears throat> that you can't keep them from this shit forever. There's violence everywhere. If you keep them from that, they won't know how to react. I showed my sister horror movies when she was young. Yes, it makes me a dick. I might be an asshole, but who gives a shit? You're scarring your younger sister for life. <laughs> Those movies are rated R for a reason, dude. You're just like Matthew Davis with him throwing his remote at his younger sister. You're exposing her to horror movies? What is wrong with you? Yes, there is an age where a child is old enough to start watching horror movies. I started watching them when I was like 11 or 12. But, nope, no, I'm done, I'm done. From how you're making it seem... She seems to be a lot younger than 11 or 12 because you're saying that, you know, you're, you're making it seem like you're the asshole here. So I'm obviously going to assume she's a little kid, okay? What is your problem, man? Just, why would you reveal that in the video? I am an asshole. I am a dick. And I'm proud of it. I'm just going to say that. And the thing is, she's only 10 years old. And I bet she has a lot more balls than any of you pussy assholes out there. By exposing her to horror movies, she automatically has balls? This guy's logic, ladies and gentlemen. Because what I've seen on Cartoon Network, the newer shows are just dumbasses. I just have no words for them. I mean, the original shows, Dexter's Lab, Ed, Ned, Nettie, Powerpuff Girls, Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, a lot of old great shit. All of them made before <gasps> the 2000s! Dun dun dun! We are dealing with a 90s kid! A nostalgia tart asshole. I called it. All that great shit, and now you're basically replacing it with gay ass shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, uh, the, the World of Gumball, whatever the fuck that show is. I, that one just looked gay as hell. I don't know which one's more pathetic. The fact that you're using gay as an insult or you can't even get the name of the goddamn show right. It's not really that hard to remember. The Amazing World of Gumball. Are you just an idiot? Clarence, Steven Universe. I think the only new show that I actually do like is Uncle Grandpa. I don't give two shits what you think about me because, like I said, I am an asshole, I am a dick, and I'm anything else that you can say. To be fair, I do actually like Uncle Grandpa legitimately, and yeah, I do think you're an asshole. In fact, that's what a lot of people say about me. Wait, we both like Uncle Grandpa and people say we're assholes. Maybe we do have a lot in common. Okay, seriously. How is liking a cartoon going to determine that you're an asshole? I don't like Avatar The Last Airbender or Steven Universe, and does that make me an asshole? Maybe, according to a lot of people it does, but I don't think so. <clears throat> You do realize that, I mean, personal work, I hope, unlikely you're watching this, but you do realize that no one likes you anymore because of your shit shows. Quite the contrary. This would have been relevant six or seven years ago, but now is not the case. You are just stuck in the 90s. You have no idea what's going on nowadays. And no, a lot of people do like Cartoon Network. If you don't, that's fine, but you're generalizing the public just like some sort of dictator.
And I'm pretty sure you're just beyond help, but I just feel like someone needs to say this. I was just watching a new episode of the Powerpuff Girls, and I was thinking, what the fuck? I think we're done here. Bottom line, this is the absolute worst Cartoon Network rant I've ever seen. Yes, he is worse than Mr. Enter. He is worse than Matthew Davis. This was garbage. He makes absolutely no points against Cartoon Network other than it's not in the 90s, and he somehow brings cartoon violence against parents into the situation. I don't know how or why, but he does. I'm Kablam Bandicoot 64 God damn it. I don't know how to end this. I, I don't. Never I, I, took I, I, a class before in self-defense. Never looked at you before with common sense. Gird myself for a short, sharp shot. Trace myself inside walk chalk. I'll shut my mouth.